H S K 语法 H S K grammar H S K 二级语法方位词 nouns of locality. Hi, I am Lao Xu. 我是老徐 Words of locality are words expressing either direction or location. So it could be one character or two characters most of the time. So from the part of speech point of view, monosyllabic, which is one character, is seldom used, and、uh, two character localities often serve as subject, object, adjective, or even adverbs as well. So we have a big table of nouns of locality here. I can read that for you. So here we have one character locality: 上下前后左右里 Then we have 外中内间旁 Finally, we have four directions: 东南西北 So what does it mean? 上 above. So if we add 边 side, then we have 上边 above side above 下边前前边 front side 后后边 back side 左左边 the left or left side 右右边里 inside or inside 外外边 outside. 中 we don't have 边，内 inside no， 间 between no， 旁 nearby， 旁边 yes nearby， 东南西北边 ，so meaning 啊、uh, east side， south side， west side and north side， 东南西北边。Also we have character called 面 ，technically mean。Face, so 上面 meaning above, 下面前面后面左面右面里面里面 meaning inside, outside meaning 外面 Also, we have 东面南面西面北面 four directions. 东面南面西面北面 Also, the third category is 以 Plus character, 以上 above, 以下 following, 以前 before, 以后 after, from time point of view. Then we have 以外 meaning from here outside, 以内 inside, 以东 from here to east, 以南 from here to south, 以北以西 Another one is 之 meaning of, 之上 meaning above, 之下之前之后 Next, 之中 meaning in the middle, 之内 inside, 之间 in between, and finally we have miscellaneous for example, 底下 Meaning beneath, 底 meaning the bottom, 底下 meaning beneath the bottom, 前 and 后 together, 前后左右 left and right, 里外 inside and outside, 当中 inside, in between, in the middle, 中间 in the center, in the middle, 东南东北 South East, North East, 西南西北 South West and North West. Let's see some examples here. 你们当中谁是医生 Which of you is a doctor? 当中 in the middle of you or among you, who is a doctor? Which of you is a doctor? 杯子里面，杯子里边 
有水。There is water in the cup or inside the cup. 学校南边，学校南面是一个商店。There is a store to the south of the school. 以上就是我想说的话。That's all I want to say. 以上 ，what I have said before is what I want to say. 十二岁以下的孩子不要钱。It is free for kids under twelve. 十二岁以下 ，under twelve。这条路以南就是北京了。The area to the south of this road belongs to Beijing. 以南 so from here to south, all the way. 三分钟之内我就来 Within three minutes, I will come. 三分钟之内杯子在桌子底下，底下。There is a cup under the table. 我的前后都是人 There are people before and after me. A lot of people. I am in the middle. 我家在东北 My home is in northeast. So those are examples of the locality. So let's see some notes here. First note is when nouns of locality serve as subject or adverb, do not add 在 before locality. For example, 里面是我的房间。里面 is a noun of locality, but it is a subject, so do not say 在里面是我的房间。It is not right. My room is inside. 里面是我的房间，旁边是我们学校。旁边是我们学校。What next to us is our school? Don't say 在旁边是我们学校。Adverb, for example, 您里面坐。This actually meaning 请您到里面坐。So don't say, 您在里面坐 No, just say, 您里面坐 Or you can say, 请您到里面坐 Please sit inside. 我们外边走走 Let's walk outside. Or you can say, 我们到外边走走 But don't say, 我们在外边走走 Second point. When we have locality 里里边 or 里面 don't use 里里边里面 after a geographic name such as a city name, a big city name. The second thing is you have to. It's better to use a 里里面里边 After a noun which indicates a container, for example, 我在北京 Don't say 我在北京里 because Beijing is a big city. It is a geographic name. I am in Beijing. But you can say 我在北京城里我在北京城里 I am in the city of Beijing. 北京城里 It is different. 我在中国学习汉语，在中国 is a name here, is a geographic name. Don't say 我在中国里学习汉语 It is not right. He studies in Chinese in China, but you can say 他在中国的大学里学习汉语 He studies Chinese in a university of China. 在中国的大学里。It's okay. 钱在书包里 So 书包 indicates a container. So you have to add 里 here. 钱在书包里 Don't say 钱在书包 You have to add 
里，钱在书包里面，钱在书包里边 ，also OK。水在杯子里，水在杯子里面，里边 OK。But don't say 水在杯子 ，not right。Finally, third point. 之前之后，以前以后 ，is generally used for time, not for something else. 我以前是一个老师 ，I was a teacher before. 我想以后做一个老师 ，I want to be a teacher in the future. 以前的商店没有了 ，the previous store is gone. 没有了。以后的事情你要自己做 ，so you should do things by yourself in the future. 七点以前他就来学校了，七点以前他就来学校了。He came to school before seven. 吃饭之前你做什么 ？What did you do before dinner? 八点之后你能来吗 ？Can you come after eight? Finally, 上课五分钟以后他才来。He came five minutes after the class. That was a summary of nouns of locality. Thank you very much.